Hey guys, let's start today with a couple of suffixes. Remember, suffix are word parts added to the end of the base word that change the meaning of the word. The two suffixes we're going to look at today are ik and in. The suffix ik means of or relating to. It changes the base word to an adjective. Of, if the base word ends in y, drop the y before adding the suffix. So let's look at the suffix ik down here. So look at that bird singing. What do you think it's going to be? It's melody. A bird sing a melody. And plus the suffix ik, we got to drop the y. It's melody, melodic, melodic. If something is melodic, it is of or relating to a tune or a melody. A beautiful melodic tune. You have a song that's your favorite one that's got a nice melody that you like to sing. It's very melodic. Okay. And the suffix in. The suffix in means to give or have the characteristics. It changes the base word to a verb. Okay. So something can be flat. But if you do something to it, you can flatten it. You can make it flat or flatter. If you flatten something. It's like she's flattening some, maybe make some corn uh, tortillas or something for some tacos. That sounds good. So ick and in suffixes that you can add to words. Speaking of words, let's look at some. These are your vocabulary words for this week. The first one is ancestors, the people in your family who lived long ago. Looks like these are someone's ancestors getting off a boat. Maybe they're immigrants coming from another country to the United States or somewhere like that. Somebody's ancestors, somebody's family that lived long ago, their ancestors. Swirled, oh, look at that swirled cream in that cup of coffee. That makes me want some coffee, doesn't it, you? If something is swirled, it moved around quickly in circles. Swirled. And currents. Ooh. Currents are flowing movements of water in a lake, river, or ocean. So this guy's riding the currents in his canoe or kayak, isn't he? Flowing movements of water. He looks like he's in a lake or a river, probably. I'm doing some white water rafting. Sneered. Look at that emoji. Sneer emoji. If you sneer, you show disapproval or lack of respect by the look on your face. Don't you sneer at me. Outspoken. If you're outspoken, you say what you think, even when others do not agree. That guy's outspoken. He looks like he's about, he's maybe he's preaching. Maybe he's preaching to the choir. <laughs> canopy. Canopy is a roof like covering like the top branches of trees in the forest. Well, isn't that beautiful? That looks like down south, maybe in Charleston or Savannah, where they have that Spanish moss, is what that stuff's called, growing off the trees. I like to just walk through that because it's so pretty. Wouldn't you? There's the canopy, a roof like covering. Envision. You envision something, you picture it in your mind. I think she's envisioning being an astronaut, don't you? Picturing it in your mind. And that's our words. All right. I want you today to read the story to yourself. Okay. Remember our story, Seeds of Change. Um, it's about it's a biography, and it starts on page 279 in your um, reading book. And so I want you to read it. Maybe find somebody to read it to today. Maybe your mom would be a good story to read to mom. If you can't find somebody to read to, read to your stuffed animals. But read it out loud today. Keep on practicing reading out loud. Even though school's about out, you don't want to, when you come to school next year, you want to be able to read out loud fluently, easily, because your teachers are going to call on you to read out loud. So it's good to practice. Practice all summer long. Keep reading. But today, read this story, and then also, you're going to have um, a vocabulary practice on the words we just looked at on the vocabulary cards, and you'll have another grammar review to do for me today. I'll let you get started on them now. Read the story first. See you later.